All right, you want to step on in? So you two do not need an introduction to one another. You've seen each other at many archery tournaments throughout the state for many years now, huh? Yep. yep. <laughs> well, today we're gonna try to shoot some fish. Now, T, I know you shot fish a lot. This is your rig, so you spend a lot of time shooting fish. Yeah. And you obviously shoot a bow and arrow a lot, but this is your first time, isn't it? Yes, yeah, my first time bow fishing. You, you're very familiar with this bow, and I know you're a much, much better archer than I am. But the main thing is, is when you put this arrow on, you've got this stopper right here. You have to make sure that's pointed up, otherwise it's gonna hit your rest. And it's really gonna throw you off. The next thing is make sure that this is definitely out here in front, in front of your reel, okay? You want this out here. You're not gonna have a lot of time to aim. You're gonna see a fish maybe a second or two, and it's more, it, it's point and shoot. Aim low, aim low, aim low. You guys, are really unique in the fact that both of you have shot a perfect 300 score. My first 300, I was kind of shocked. Whenever I shot it, it was, it was kind of crazy at the time. It just kind of happened. I knew I wanted to shoot college archery somewhere, but I wasn't sure. And I was looking at a few different ones and finally decided to go to Lindsey Wilson and went up there and talked to the coach and got a scholarship. You get him? Yep, fish on. That's what you want right there. Find you one that, uh, there you go. That is an edgy Asian carp shot right in the face. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way to get started right there. On the other side of that concrete, there's a bunch of fish. Just shoot, just shoot into them. I think you got one on, Paige. Yes, she does. All right, grab your line, pull him on in. What you got? Asian car. Hey, your first fish ever yeah. right there. Nice job. We pulled up here and you see these dead floating fish here. And we looked over and there were just tons of fish laying right under them. And you smoked it. <laughs> that is awesome. Got one. Headshots on. Headshot. Nice. She got that fish. Look at there. In the face. Right in the head. Right in the top of the head. That's how you do it right there now. Now that fish just come up and boiled and you was fast enough to get on it. Now that was an awesome shot. You know, flash the lights. It's not quite dark yet, but if you strobe the lights, what do you expect to happen? They'll start jumping, it scares them. You might well stay in the middle of the boat. <laughs> get ready. <laughs> there you go. Now, you see why they're talking about people getting hit by these things. I was going across the lake one night, wide open. One jumped up, hit me right dead in the chest. It was probably a 10 pound silver. Tell you what, it'll take the wind out of you. Something hit the bottom? Yeah, that was a fish. Oh, we got one, free one. Just jumped right in the boat. <laughs> right down through here is usually pretty good. Bugs are terrible. Here we go. Fish on. Oh, come loose. Right there. Do you see that? You win some, you lose some. Oh, right here. Yeah. See that right there? Oh, that was a good try. Got one. Oh, coming your way. There we go. Joker got us under the trolling motor. <laughs> Tell it it's hard to see them tonight, but that fish actually comes from under the boat, swam up, so <laughs> got lucky. That's one of the easier shots to make when they're swimming alongside with you. Got one on right up here. There you go. <laughs> we got fish on the left, fish on the right, fish jumping in. <laughs> yeah, I got a feeling they're about to go crazy. All right, Paige, you ready? I'm about to hit them.
Did you get any? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> hey, nice job. What do you think about that? that was awesome. <laughs> I think we got a couple. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now that was pretty exciting. Oh yeah. <laughs> Did you have any idea it was going to happen like that? Because I didn't think we'd have that many jumping at us. No. Oh my goodness. So what do you think? You've shot a bow tens of thousands of times. Yeah. First time out on a boat fishing. You've had some pretty crazy experiences already. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? Something you think you want to try again? Definitely. I'm definitely having a blast. This is really fun. You gonna bring a helmet and a mouthpiece next time? Yeah, I've got to prepare better. So you obviously have shot a bow very, very similar to this a bunch. So do yeah. you think that helps prepare you to do this? Yeah, I think so, because I'm familiar with the setup of the bow, so it definitely makes me feel more comfortable shooting it. The pace and the time of a full draw and release is a lot different than, yeah. than going to the line waiting for a whistle and when yeah, they you come don't up have and they start jumping at you, here. you just go at it. Crazy thing, it is hard to react and pick one fish out while you're dodging them and you're just in awe. It's hard to pick one out and shoot it. So again, the boat will catch enough. It's a lot of fun and a lot, oh, yeah. a lot of energy when they start jumping in a boat. Yeah. I can't tell how much I appreciate you guys bringing us out and showing us this. I know you shoot fish all the time. Yeah, quite often. I'd love to sit out here all night and do this, but I believe the buckets are full. And hey, you, got, you guys got to get to school, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> so this is a lot of fun. Keep up the hard work in NASP and you know what? It's going to pay off. It's already taking you to college. You've got a scholarship waiting on you and you can, you can get away from shooting uh, paper and get out here and do this. Thanks a lot, guys. Nice meeting you. You too. You Thank as well. You.